there it is. Yes, aim high right, and they go in. Dude. I think that's okay, don't go OB again. Come on. Boom! Let's go, action cam! <laughs> I'm sure you've already heard, but Gen Burr is in fact now the number one rated disc golfer in the world. And to celebrate that, we're here at Ballantine Temp, a temporary course on a golf course here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've got a disc mania only bag. I've got some really cool collector gems in here. Uh, yeah, we're just going to play Disc Mania only round, play at least nine holes. We'll play the whole course, probably film nine. I got the FD2 here and the Echo Star DD3, breaking out some collectors on the first hole here. Got a 273-foot par three. Skip. Oh, he didn't get any skip. We always go two off one. That's Charlotte rules. We got the Echo Star DD3 here as well. That's going to be really nice. Get left. Oh, yeah. It should be parked for the easy birdie. All right. Let's do it. I'm sure none of you guys are surprised with Gannon Burr being the number one player in the world. This is something we all saw coming. And I've had a lot of players that have come up with really high expectations, but none quite like Gannon Burr. He's been able to rise to the top, picking up four or five wins already this season stamping his place as the best player in the world, securing that highest rating as well. It's pretty exciting to see, and it's really fun to watch. And I'm excited to throw some Discmania discs today to celebrate Ganon's achievement. Now, the Echo Star DD3 is something that's way too flippy for Ganon. It's one of the flippiest, most understable runs of DD3 that's ever been made. But it's one of my favorite Discmania discs in my collection. When it comes to Bomber DD3s, there's nothing quite like these old Echo Star DD3s. We we're able to tap in the birdie with a new notion. And to complement that beautiful baby blue Echo DD3, I've also got the dark blue Echo DD3. Hole two, 355, par three. Oh yes, come on. Dude, dude. Dude, that's, that is insane. <laughs> All right, I can't believe it, I went about 35 long on a 360 foot hole. I pumped this DD3 about 400 feet. I haven't thrown that thing in a while, but I remember why I like it so much. Come on, notion. Oh, super unfortunate. Hole three, 295, par three. I've got the Lux Vapor Spore. If you want to get one of these, get one over at Power Grip USA. This is a Power Grip exclusive. Save 10% with my discount code Iceberg10. Can I throw the Spore 300 feet? Oh, she's so straight, straight into the OB. Oh no, that's tough. In an unlikely fashion, I blasted that spore like 60 feet into this OB grass. Take my drop, I think I went out right about here. Uh, I'm low left with the notion. It's not super glidey. Definitely need to continue to get used to this putter. Unfortunate first bogey of the day. Hole four, 192, par three. Hopefully this can be a little redemption hole. I've got the brand new Metal Flake MD4. Hopefully she's stable enough to punch through the gap here and then fade up towards the basket on the right. Yep. Oh. <gasps> oh, that was very close to an ace. And Gannon is still very young and his disc golf career long term is really just getting started. And he's already ranked the best player in the world. He's picking up wins left and right. I'm really curious to see if Gannon's able to start winning more majors, starting to, you know, put himself in a position where he could one day overtake Paul Macbeth and Ken Climo for not only world championships, but also in major victories. And I think with disc golf becoming more and more difficult, the field's becoming deeper and deeper. Those world championships are definitely going to be the hardest thing to grasp. But if someone is able to do it, it's going to be Ganon Burr. All right, I've been missing low left with this notion all day. Let's aim high right here. Oh, there it is. Yes! 
aim high right, and they go in. Feels good to get that bounce back after that stupid bogey. And this is still a golf course that people actually use. But I want to show you guys this cool tunnel here. We got Grant here as well. He's also filming a video of his own. Quick shout out. Oh, this is pretty neat. Hole five, 580 foot par four baskets way down the fairway on the left. Gonna go back to the baby blue DD3 here. OB left, just want to keep it straight. <clears throat> Dude, I love that DD3. That disc is awesome. I'm gonna have a pretty good shot going into the green from that angle. All right, this is about a 600 foot hole and I'm probably, le I'm less than 200 out. So I threw that around 400 backhand, which is pretty big for me. Shout out Alden Harris. I've got the mutant here. See if we can get a look for this birdie. That's gonna give him a putt, let's go. Shout out Alden. Shout out this Echo DD3. Now I've never been a huge fan of the mutant, but coming into this green, I was really happy I could just throw it right at the OB and trust the mutant to swing in really hard. Now we just need to trust the notion. Dylan! Always putt with your mutant. Oh no, I missed the 10-footer. Hole 7, 363 par 3. The basket is way up there on the left. This course is asking a lot of my distance right now. Still going DD3. I've got a lot of really cool discs in the bag, so I'm hoping for some shorter holes to showcase some of the collector items. Dude, that Echo DD3 is so fire. Get up there. Let's go. All right, I'm throwing the disc really well right now, but the, <laughs> I need to figure out how to putt with this notion. I need to figure it out fast. We need to aim high right. I'm going to aim right at the number seven there. Oh. No. Oh, that's better. That's an improvement. But we're going to take another par, unfortunately. There it is. Come on, swing. Skip. Oh, there's OB lining the right side, too. So that turnover is really freaking sketchy. Good thing I realized it after I threw. All right, we've got the action cam here. This is an unusual sight for you guys. With the action cam, I really need to make a putt here. Come on. Come on. Boom! Let's go, action cam! Let's go. Another 600 foot par four here. I'm going to go with this Nordic Phenom 3. I'm going to try and trust this thing up on a lot of Anheuser and try and get weight on the fairway. That is massive. That's going to be a great tee shot up on the hill there. It should be an easy threesy all day long. All right, I'm just OB off the tee. I didn't realize the walking path came through here. I thought it was a perfect drive. Got the color glow FD3 here. Let's see if we can get up and down for the par. I think that's okay. Don't go OB again. No, that's parked for the easy four. All right, that's not too disappointing. That'll work. I can't believe it. This FD3 shot was nice. That's a really nice par after that OB shot. Hole 11, 255. We're going to go with the Horizon MD1. Finally getting to break out a new disc here. Fade a lot. All right, I've got a super old school money run. Flat top, S-line PD. Let's see how stable this bad boy is. Oh, she's beefy. It's going to be a nice tee shot. All right, Horizon MD1, a lot straighter than I remember. I was expecting to get a touch of a fade here. Nice little downhill putt. I've been missing low, so this should be right up my alley. <laughs> How does he find a way to miss low on the downhill putt? All right, we've got a 760-foot par 5 here. We've got a pretty ripping headwind coming in, so this is a good opportunity for me to throw this Nordic Phenom 3 on the backhand line. See if we can get it to at least get 350 off the tee here. It's funny how much more overstable the Nordic is than the Echoes. The Echoes would flip and be gone, possibly rollers. And that thing did not turn at all for me. So much more stable. It's so funny in Charlotte, you almost never get to throw your distance drivers. And out here I'm getting to throw a distance driver on literally every single hole. This hole, I'm getting to throw distance drivers twice. We've got the blue echo. 
I'm going to trust the turn here. We're going left side, turning right. <sighs> Did not get as much turn as I wanted. Barely in bounds. That should be an easy up and down for the birdie. We're in bounds by about four inches here. I'm going to take my meter. Got the Cosmic Fury 1. Lux Vapor Logic. Hopefully we just park it. Low stress putt. Uphill tester. A little more stable than I thought it was going to be. I thought she was just going to pick up and push nice and straight. I forgot how stable that disc was. All right, our numbers are pretty bad with the notion so far. Got to aim high right. What? All right, hole 13, 582. This is where boys, in fact, become men. We need to throw at least 400 to get across the OB pond. I might be kissing the Nordic phenom goodbye today. Yes. Yes. Go! Yes. Yes. Woo! He's huge. Let's go. All right, you guys remember just a few minutes ago where I thought I threw a 460 foot forehand and made it across the OB? I didn't. I threw it about 420, came up OB by about 15 feet. I thought I was huge. Wasn't huge. Pretty disappointing, but <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Hole 14, 260. We're going to go back to the Lux Vapor Spore Power Grip Exclusive. 260, up in the air. That should be it. Swing for the kid. It's a nice piece right there. That's a very nice piece. My putting has been abysmal, but on the action cam, I'm one for one. Come on, Notion. Yes, two for two on the action cam, ladies and gents. All right, I've got the special edition Lumen Essence here. 15 is a 318 foot par three. It's gonna go pretty, pretty flat and straight. A little turn, little fade. There's my little turn. And does he get a little fade? He does. That should be parked. I feel pretty dialed off the tee today, to be honest. Feeling pretty good. Hot dog. Hot dog. Luminescence, shout out. Haven't thrown it since the review, but obviously it's a fire disc. Hole 16, 360 foot par three. I'm going to go back to a similar shot. The luminescence flew great on that last hole. Gonna punch it out to the right and let it just swing at the end. Hopefully it does the same thing it did last time. No, it's it's a pretty stable essence. That thing flew really nice. Hole 17, 642 foot par four, playing all the way up to the fountain. Probably should be hole 18. I don't know why this isn't hole 18. This is a really nice finishing hole. Got another collector's item here. We've got the Eagle McMahon st stamped essence here today. See if we can get it to turn and not go to the left forever and be gone. That needs to get down. It's safe. All right, throwing up towards the fountain here. Pro tip, when you're throwing uphill, you want to make sure to go with your more understable driver. So I've got the flippy Echo DD3 here. Hopefully we can get a look for the birdie. It's going to get us a look. Circle two look, but it's a look. All right, we've got a circle two look at the birdie. Let's aim high right. Let the notion do what it does. Ooh. Can't believe I just missed high right. Hole 18, 954 foot par five. Oh, that's so bad. All right, guys, that is 18 holes at the Ballantine Temp course with all Discmania discs. It basically turned into a DD3 only round because every single hole was so far. I didn't expect all the holes to be this far. Super fun course, very unusual course as far as the Charlotte area courses go. Um, I wanted to come out, play 18 holes with Discmania to celebrate Ganon Burr's number one rated player in the world. 
This is a very big achievement for not only him and his career, but also a big achievement for Discmania. And every time Ganon does well, every time Ganon wins, every time Ganon hits major career level accomplishments, this is a big win for Discmania. And I'm really curious to see where Discmania goes. Can they start to rise up and become as popular as Innova or Discraft? I'm really curious to see how it all boils down. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you're watching Iceberg TV. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.